Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Asian Psycho, and this is going to be the 15th uh, extra in the uh, Exploring the Arsenal, I believe. And this is going to be featuring the very wonky and futuristic looking launch grenade launcher called the XM25. Now, a little bit of background information on the XM25 this is the same XM25 from uh, Modern Warfare 3. Um, I mean, Pretty much Nexon is copying what Activision is putting into their games or Infinity Ward for those of you guys who are super anal about um, who, who it is that puts in these guns. But anyways, that's besides the point. The XM25 is now in combat arms and um, it's <laughs> right, off the bat, right off the bat I can tell you guys right now that it's not a very good weapon. It's more of a troll weapon than anything else. And uh, if you guys really like trolling people, then this gun is, you'll probably enjoy this gun. But, in all practical purposes, you should not use XM25, really. <laughs> Honestly speaking, you shouldn't. And, um, let's see. For the XM25 CDTE's uh, statistics, there aren't really much that, uh, that Nexon gives it. All it gives on the uh, weapons page is its damage, its portability, and its recoil. Now, I don't think they should have put a recoil. Instead, I, should, I think they should have put a rate of fire in. Because recoil on the XM25 is, is completely insignificant. It's like, it's like putting recoil on a bolt-action sniper rifle. Um, the reason that I say this is because of the fact that the XM25 is a grenade launcher. So it's not going to be like a rapid fire use. So recoil is completely negated in the time that it takes for the XM25 to be able to load another shot to fire. Um, basically, like, whenever it's able to fire again. So, yeah, the recoil is not is not significant at all. Nexon says it has a 53 recoil, but... You can forget about that. I mean, who cares that the XM25 has recoil, right? So the other two statistics that do matter in Nexon gives us, it's its damage and its portability. The damage on the XM25 is 35. Now, this is very weak for a grenade launcher because all the grenade launchers are all two-shot kills no matter what. The RPG does 86 damage. The law and the... Um, or the law, yeah, the law does like 80 damage or so, and um, the M79 and both and both the M79 and the um, the MZP1 both are one shot kills as well. The XM25 is the only grenade launcher in combat arms to not be able to do a solid two shot kill. In fact, it deals like a four shot kill. Um, technically speak or a three shot kill technically speaking to uh, according to combat arms and 35 is the maximum damage it will do um at its at the center of its blast radius and obviously because it is a um explosive uh, the further away the blast radius gets or the further away you get away from the blast radius the less damage you'll incur until finally you don't take any damage at all um so that's the quirk about the xm25 cdte and uh, the portability it is a grenade launcher and it's not a very portable one at 47 it's not very portable at all and um, even though it does look like i'm running around pretty fast with this gun um do keep in mind that i do have uh plus 24 percent speed with all uh, with full nx speed gear and such so it may look like i'm running around fast with this weapon but it's really not too fast in fact it's probably slower than anything but um yeah that's basically its portability and now the rate of fire, I don't know why Nexon didn't talk about the rate of fire, but as you can see in the gameplay, the rate of fire is pretty much faster than any other uh, grenade launcher in the in the game. That's why it's a three-shot kill. Um, but it's a very, very weak three-shot kill, keep in mind, because uh, if you don't hit the uh, if you don't hit the enemy pretty much dead center, then it's going to take four shots to kill, and four shots to kill is absolutely brutal, even if the uh, XM25 has a really fast fire rate for a grenade launcher. Um, in terms of like raw numbers, I would have to say that the XM25 has about a numerical statistic about maybe, mm, I want to say like 40 or so, uh, compared to like maybe other grenade launch or yeah, other rocket launchers, uh, or yeah, basically grenade launchers in general. Like the M32 only has like, I would have to say like 20 rate of fire, or um, 25 at most, whereas the XM25 has uh, like 35 so you can see the difference uh between the rate of fires between those two um these two launchers already even though i'm already making uh, up this uh rate of fire statistic for the xm25 but you can clearly see that the xm25 does fire very very fast for a grenade launcher slash rocket launcher or whatever you want to call this gun now for other uh, not like non numerical but if equally as essential facts about the XM25, the XM25 only comes with eight rounds in the ma in uh, total, eight grenades. That's it. That's one of the main downsides about the XM25 is because is the fact that you can't get much um much ammo. You don't start with much ammo with the XM25. Um, I wish that they could have given this four more rounds. If four more rounds, it would have been perfect. But unfortunately, you only get eight, eight grenades, and that's all you're ever gonna get. Unfortunately, so. So 
um, go complain to Nexon if you really want them to uh, put in more rounds for the um, the XM25. Because I'm pretty sure they, it, yeah, uh, back in the day when they first released the M79 China Lake uh, grenade launcher, it only came with two rounds, and they pa later patched it uh, to have three rounds. So I mean, who knows? They could give it more ammo. Uh, they they could give the XM25 more ammo, um, but you never know. Anyways, um, so that's its ammo capacity, and uh, let's see. Uh, let's check my. Uh, my list of usual things that I talk about for the XM25. So sprint drawback, um, it's it's average for grenade launchers. No, nothing too uh, none too special there. And it's it's um, let's see what what should I how should I call this? Um, its reload speed is um, is slow as a gun. As a general gun, it's pretty slow. But for a grenade launcher, it's actually on the faster side of things. I'm pretty sure the MZP-1 um, and the M79 both reload s on similar terms with the XM25, but it definitely reloads faster. Actually, I don't know if it reloads faster than the... Actually, I have to take that back. It reloads pretty slowly for a grenade launcher, but do keep in mind that it does have a four-round capacity. So, I mean, it's like a semi-automatic. You just fire that thing um, as, as you know, with each click, basically. Um, I'm pretty sure it's semi-automatic. I'm pretty sure it's not fully automatic. Like, you just hold down the trigger and it just fires for you. I don't think it's like that. I think, uh, I remember having to click for each shot that I had to take with the XM25, so. So, yeah, for its fire modes, you already know that it's, um, it's, what is it? It's only single fire, on it's single fire only, so. Yeah, no fully automatic capacities for the XM25 just yet. And, um, reload speed, we already talked about that. Um, luck... I mean, there's not, there's not, there's no real way to get headshots with this thing. So good luck trying to get headshot with the XM25. Um, ammo capacity, we already talked about that. Key physical characteristics. Now this gun is not. It looks bulky, but it's actually not too bad. It's just that it's really, really weird as scope is in the way of your peripheral vision, namely the center of your uh, center of your HUD. So that may or may not become distracting. That's up to you, though. And now uh, muzzle noise. It sounds like. Hmm, what should I say? It sounds like. I don't know. It sounds like another launcher, like the M79, but I'm not too sure. But anyways, um, it it does have a pretty loud uh, muzzle noise. It's not that loud, but you can definitely hear it. Um, attachment options: you can't really attach any. Uh, uh, I don't think you attach anything onto the uh, XM25. I mean, it'd be weird if you could. But anyways, um, nothing so far for the XM25 in terms of attachments. Um, now. But do keep in mind that it does have a scope, and you guys have already seen me use the scope. But um, the scope itself is a uh, is an M two hundred scope. Um, but then the thing about it is that it only zooms in as much as an iTech scope or a red dot sight scope. So that's that's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I don't know if it'll help you or not. But I mean, I mean, it's a scope, and a scope is better than no scope, um, unless you really hate the scope. At, that is, but I mean, I I really enjoy using the scope, even though it wasn't really of practical use. But um, it was just funny trying to aim at people with the scope and just firing at them with it. And um, yeah, <laughs> pretty pretty fun. And um, for fire team and quarantine, don't even bother. Even for quarantine, this thing just deals so little damage that you might as well bring an M32 and just call it a day, or bring like M79 and MCP1 and M RPG, all the other rocket launchers that you can bring in. You might as well bring those. Don't even use XM25 for quarantine. It's just terrible just don't i i'll post another video later of me playing with a fellow clammy of mine um chase the wilo um and i'd use the xm25 in that game and i don't get any kills at all it's terrible oh my god and uh don't ever use it for quarantine so my frank personal opinions about the xm25 like i said it's more suited for a troll um trolling role i was about to say troll role and be like hey that rhymes but it sounds too weird um like i said Trolls out there use this XM25. It's probably the one of the best troll weapons out there. But other than that, um, for those of you tryhards, don't buy this weapon. It's not worth your time. And um, it's even it, even for quarantine, it's not really worth your time. All this is really good for is just going out there, going and just trolling people as hard as you can. This this gun is perfectly suited for that. But anything else. No go, no go. Don't just don't even buy this weapon. Don't don't even go into the the, the explosives tab on the in the uh, black market or the sh GP shop, whatever, and uh, don't even look at it. It's not worth your time. And um, anything else that I wanted to talk about for the XM25, I am trying to remember right now. Um, 
it's just that the XM25 is is a weird gun to use. And um, oh, also one thing I wanted to talk, discuss is that its draw animation is also completely silent, uh, which is pretty unique in terms of like guns in combat arms. Most guns and weapons in combat arms have uh have make some sort of noise when you first take them out of your bag, but um. XM25, it doesn't have that, so, <laughs> you see me trying to, trying to freaking <laughs> blast someone at close range, but anyways, um, so yeah, this is the review on the XM25 CDTE, hope you guys have enjoyed, <laughs> watch me trying to use that, use the scope right there, I don't know if the scope is, is really practical for anything, um, but I'm pretty sure someone's gonna figure out how to use that thing one day, anyways guys, thanks for watching, this has been the review on the XM25 CDTE, don't buy this gun unless you are a super troll, and you want to just annoy people as much as you can, otherwise, yeah, just, this is not worth your time. Thanks for watching guys and look forward to more videos. Start. Start. Team win.